guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome on in if you're new. Hi, my name is Lonnie and welcome to Cozy Cove. Have you guys been wondering how to become a mermaid on Friendship Island? What about trying to solve the comic relief quest? Want to use your bubble wand and catch some critters? Well guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you just how to solve the comic relief quest, how to become a mermaid, and how to use that infamous bubble wand. So without further ado, let's dive into it. In order to unlock the comic relief quest, you need to make sure that you reach friendship level 6 with Hangry Out on. Now in order to check your friendship levels, you just need to go to your telephone in the upper right hand corner, click on friends, and click on Hangry Out on. Here you will see Hangry Odin's stats. You can see here that you need to be on level 6 to do the story quest of Comic Relief. So you can see here I'm on friendship level 4 with him, so I need to level him up in order to unlock the story quest. So let's go ahead and gift him. You can see I have a couple of two heart fish to give him, and I have three gifts to give him for the day. So I'm going to give him the first one. He'll give me three candle nuts, and his heart only goes halfway, so we're going to keep on gifting him. Almost there, so you can see now that I've leveled him up to level 5. But I'm out of gifts for the day. But I do still have some friendship blossoms, so I'm going to gift him a friendship blossom. This will allow me to give him 3 more gifts for the day. It's like a game day reset for one particular character. We're getting close. Okay, we got it. Friendship level 6. We've unlocked the story quest of Comic Relief. So let's begin the quest by talking to Henry Odom. In the initial conversation, he's letting you know that he has lost his suitcase and we need to find it for him. So that will start the comic relief quest. So let's go ahead and find that suitcase. It's just right behind the comic relief and here it is on the map. Let's grab it and go bring it back to Henry Odom. All right, let's go ahead and give him over the suitcase. And now he says all of his stuff was intact, except that he's missing some of his clothes and he needs his mermaid outfit. So now we're on the quest to find all three parts of the mermaid outfit. By looking on the map, you can see all three locations for the mermaid outfit pieces. So we're gonna go ahead now and collect each one. I'm gonna speed through this and speed swim. <laughs> and here's the first one over here to the right. Here it is on the map. Let's collect it. Now we have the first one. Just a quick tip guys, the mermaid tail will look like a pair of purple pants in your inventory. It won't look like a tail. In the beginning of the game, I was looking all over for a tail and I thought I lost it. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you guys know. Let's swim over to the left and get the next piece. Here it is on the map. Let's collect it. And now we have the second piece, the mermaid armor. All right, let's continue on and get the last piece. Here it is on the map. And we're gonna go ahead and collect it and we've got the mermaid tiara. Now we have the complete outfit. Now we have to show off our outfit to Hangry Odon. That means we have to put it on. So let's go in our inventory and select each one of the mermaid outfit pieces and select wear for each one. <laughs> Don't we look so cute now? All right, let's go show it off to Hangry Odin. So on land, you'll be wearing mermaid pants, but in the water, you'll have the mermaid tail. Now we gotta go talk to Choco Cat to see if we can fix the mermaid machine. So with the conversation with Choco Cat, the mermaid fire allows <laughs> guests to turn into mermaids to swim into the ocean. So now we need to collect three blue power crystals to activate the mermafire. So let's go collect them. I'm going to activate my sensor to help me find them. So here we go. I have just fast traveled to the kelp maze to show you where this first one is located. You got to be able to deep dive down here to pick it up. And here we are on the map. Let's go ahead and grab that first crystal. Now let's get the next two. We're gonna speed swim. <laughs> and here is a chest that I found. You might wanna collect this one. These little dolls are super cute. I love these. And here it is on the map. All right, moving on. My sensor's going crazy. <laughs> here it is. Here's its location on the map. Let's go ahead and grab that next power crystal. All right, that's two. One more to go. For the next one, I'm gonna fast travel to the sunken ship. Here it is on the map. Let's just take a moment to look how beautiful this big ship is. Whoa. <laughs> right? Inside the pirate ship, there's a treasure chest with a pirate hat in it. So let's get that first. Nice. All right, let's grab that crystal. Let me show you how to do it.
got it. Now let's go ahead and power up that mermaid of fire. <laughs> right? Let's do it. I mean, who doesn't want to be a mermaid? Okay, I jumped on top of this to get it to activate. Couldn't do it from the front, so I found the best way to do it is to stand on top. That was just my experience. Top Hat shows up again, and then he has one of his memories from the past about Big Adventures Park. And he tells us that he created the Rainbow Reef to preserve the beauty of the ocean for everyone. Now we can be a mermaid and swim in it. Little Kurobi looks like a cute little mermaid. Now everyone can visit the comedy club. Now Hangry Odin wants us to deliver some flyers to my melody for the comedy club. So let's do that next. Now Top Hat's gonna go head on over to the Icy Peak, so if you're looking for him, that's where he'll be. Let's go ahead and give these comedy club flyers to my Melody. She's excited about being a mermaid too, so she's gonna hand out the flyers for us. Now we have to check in with Hangry Odin at nighttime. This is very important, guys. If you're looking to continue this quest and you're having trouble, it's because you didn't go at nighttime. So make sure it's nighttime before you go. All right, once inside, when we get to the comedy club, Hangry Yodin is too nervous to go on with the show. So he needs a coffee to calm his nerves. So you're gonna have to go over to the coffee station inside the comedy club and craft him a coffee. He wants an espresso, so let's get him one. Give him the coffee. It didn't really help much. <laughs> go figure. But the show must go on. So now he asks you to be his partner in the comedy act. <laughs> so let's tell some sad dad jokes. <laughs> and with that, that completes the comedy relief quest. Now, on to the magic bubble wand. So let's do that story quest next. So with this quest, Hangry Yodan needs some sapphire sea ponies for his live stage set. So he wants you to go get some. But first, we need a magic bubble wand. So that's gonna start the quest for the magic bubble wand. So now we have to meet Hangry Yodan outside by the racing arena to look at the strange sign. Let's just swim and follow Hangry Odin all the way to the sign. He's telling us he doesn't understand the sign, but he found a magic key next to it. Here is the clue of where the chest is located. Now we have to find the chest that was hidden in that picture. We're gonna fast travel real quick to the sunken ship that I showed you earlier, and it's just right above towards the left. Let's go ahead and grab that chest, and it is locked up. That's why we need the magic key. And with that, we received our first bubble wand plan piece. Now we have to talk to Hangry Odon again. Here is the map location of the sign. For the second one, we have to talk to Rusuko over at the Hot Springs. Here it is on the map. Let's talk to Rusuko. Just like the first one, we're gonna get a clue and a magic key to open it. Let's go ahead and find that second one. And here it is, so let's open it. We're gonna get another bubble wand plan piece. Now we're off to talk to Rasuko again at the sign. And here she tells us there's another sign to find at the Crystal Caves. So this will be our last one. I fast travel real quick to the Icy Peak entrance. Just jump down to get to the Crystal Caves. All right, we're gonna have to follow Peko inside. Here is the sign and a magic key. Let's look at it. So purple. <laughs> this is the spot that we're trying to get to. So we're gonna walk up here and go into this first door on the right, the blue door. This is where we are. Now let's go inside the door. All right, now we're in the blue room and this is the location where we're at. Let's jump over these. Now we're gonna go right here into this door on the left, the purple door right here on the map. Let's go inside. Now we'll be in this purple crystal room. Here we are on the map. All right, let's just jump right over here and there is our chest. Let's go ahead and open it. Here's our spot on the map. All right, let's open it. And now we have received the last piece for the bubble wand crafting plants. Now we have to go back and talk to Peckle by the sign. So I'm gonna fast travel to get out of here real quick to the Icy Peak entrance and then jump down to meet Peckle again. Now we gotta go meet Chaco Cat by his crafting table right here on the map. 
Let's go ahead and gift Choco Cat the crafting plans for the bubble wand. So now that we found all three pieces of the crafting plans, Choco Cat gives us the official crafting plans for the bubble wand. So now we need to craft it. To do this, we're going to need the crafting plans, 20 starfish, five box clams, and three mechanisms. Now the starfish and the box clams can be found in the ocean, and the mechanisms, well, you gotta craft them. When you look at your crafting plans and you can't find it, it's just an item that you're missing some materials for, so just scroll down to the bottom. As you see here, I am missing some starfish, so I'm gonna go ahead and collect some starfish, and I'll meet you back here in a minute. Well, it took a little bit longer than a minute, guys, <laughs> but here I am in my cute little pirate hat. So let's go ahead and craft that bubble wand, and then I'll show you how to use it. All right, now that we got our bubble wand, we have to collect sapphire sea ponies outside of the comedy club. So let's fast travel to the comedy club and look for those sea ponies. First, you're gonna have to equip your bubble wand just like you would your fishing pole or your net or your camera. Once you find a sea pony, you go up to the sea pony and press the button to deploy a bubble. Then you have to touch the bubble to capture the sea pony. That's one. Let's do it again. Go to the bubble and touch it. That's two. Let's collect one more. There it is. Deploy the bubble and go swim and touch it to collect it. Perfect, we have all three. Now we have to deliver the sapphire sea ponies to Hangry Odon. Let's capture one more. <laughs> I mean, why not? They're so cute. Let's give them the Hangry Odon. He gave me two candle nuts. Nice. And we have received the aquatic gift crafting plans because I leveled up. Let's go. And that completes the quest for the magic bubble wand. Now let me show you real quick exactly how to use it. When you deploy the bubbles, you have to touch it in order to capture the creature. If you don't touch it, the bubble will time out and the creature will escape. Let me show you with the crab. Now let me show you with the sea pony. By not touching the bubble, the creature will escape and disappear. So let's show you again one more time with the crab. Deploy the bubble. He's caught. Now we're gonna touch the bubble and we capture him. Make sure you touch the bubble to catch them. Now let's see if I can get some more likes on this video. <laughs> Well guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you found this video helpful on how to solve the comic relief, become a mermaid, and how to craft and use the magic bubble wand. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more helpful videos on the channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.